everyone! Thank you so much for being here. If you have landed on this video, chances are you've seen my other three videos and we have gone on a little journey together on our path to sustainable wellness. So I hope those videos helped you out and if you haven't seen them, I suggest going up and signing up for that um, so that you can see what we've worked through up until now. So I talked a lot about creating the life of our dreams. I mean, we're all alive some of us more than others, and I think the goal is to make us feel more alive in a way that feels good and not chaotic. Because we all experience stresses and anxieties and worries as we move through the days. And although that can sometimes make us feel alive with panic or anxiety or anger or sadness, that stuff doesn't feel good. So how can we feel alive? How can we become aware of our emotions in a way that's healthy and sustainable? Whether we suffer from a mental illness or not, we all experience stress. And a lot of us spend time spinning our wheels or going through the same cycles over and over and over again and worrying and wondering if things are ever going to get better. And I've been there. And that is why I created this six-week course. That is why I decided to create something that I have gone through over the last few years. And to be honest, I've been struggling with mental health issues since I was about 11 years old. So I've really been working on this for a lifetime, but I just now found ways to cope with my negative emotions that's sustainable. And that's why I'm sharing it with all of you. With this six-week program, we really have the opportunity to clear away all of the junk that is hiding who we really are. In six weeks, we'll learn a sustainable approach to our mental health, a sustainable way to get from A to Z where we are now to where we want to be, how we want our life to look and feel most importantly, because feeling is really the core of all life. So in this six-week course, we start with a check-in and we figure out where are we now? What do we really want and how do we get there? After that, we go into the skills and tools to create that well-rounded life. So we start with the mental and emotional health, and that is a giant component of this course because without that stability, it's almost impossible to get to the other stuff. And when I say other stuff, I mean like our environment, literally cleaning house or being in nature or nutrition, how to eat better for our mental health or fitness, how to use fitness as a way to feel better mentally, emotionally, and physically and not just for vanity. So I start with mental and emotional health specifically so that we can get to those other components of our holistic wellness plan in a way where we actually feel good about it all. I'm also going to share foods and nutrition and recipes and simple things that you can make at home or take on the go. Also simple yoga routines and fitness exercises that you can also do at home to help you feel better and look better too. I also provide some actual clinical advice and worksheets and things that I've learned. Disclaimer, I am not a therapist. I am not um, capable of giving therapy, but as I said before, I am expert by experience. I have dealt with the anxiety, I have dealt with the panic attacks and the feelings of hopelessness and the darkness where I just felt like there was no point in going on. But I found my spark of hope and I have done everything under the sun. Okay, well maybe not everything, but so much in order to improve my mental health. And that is why I created this course so I can share it with all of you. When I do my mental health presentations, sometimes the response I get is overwhelming. I mean, I have people coming up to me crying and thanking me for not only sharing my experience and reminding them that they're not alone, but giving them hope and giving them tangible skills that they can take home with them and use to improve their quality of life. I never just tell anybody to cheer up or it's gonna be better, and that is true. It will get better, but the major question everyone has is how. How do I do that? I wasn't taught how to become aware of my emotions. I wasn't taught how to deal with them after I became aware of them. Most of us out there have not learned healthy ways to establish relationships with ourselves. So that is what I discovered through my journey and that is what I'm sharing with you here. I get that kind of response from a 45 minute to an hour and a half presentation and I just thought I could greatly affect more lives and help more people if I did this course. So that's why I'm doing it. Now I'm only offering this course for one week and I have a good reason why. So as part of a bonus, you are going to get a 15 minute talk or call with me in a wellness coaching way twice throughout the six weeks. 
not only that, but you're going to have classmates. You're going to have a group of people that are going through this journey with you, this six week journey with you so that you can all talk and you can share your experiences and you can ask each other questions. One of the biggest components of my healing was group therapy. And we don't all wanna to spend tons of money on therapy. And group therapy sometimes can last years. But having this one course that you can really get in and know people and perhaps be friends with them forever, I mean, going online and, and interacting with people, that's the easiest thing we can do now. So that is why I'm only offering it for one week because I want people to go through it at the same time so that they can lean on each other for support and lean on me for a little bit more support. I think we have all lost time worrying or we've lost connections with people because of worry and fear and anger and other intense emotions that we couldn't control. And maybe we've even lost jobs or hobbies because of a lack of motivation or self-doubt. And there are ways to remove those roadblocks and make things better. One component I've realized is having faith in yourself, but you can't really have faith in yourself to do something properly if you don't have the skills. So by creating these skills, I have created this insane faith in myself and trust in myself where I know if a negative feeling comes up, I can survive it. And I think that's one of the most important components to this whole process. Through this process, we'll be able to identify strengths and find the opportunities and the challenges and the gratitude and the positive things in our life. We'll be able to create a routine that feels good and that comes with good thoughts and not negative ones. I truly believe that at our core, we are perfect humans and we have just piled a whole bunch of junk on top of our foundation. So it's just a little weak and wobbly and fractured. So the goal here is to clear off all that junk and reinforce it with positive skills and new ways of thinking and new ways to handle the emotions and all the junk. Because I mean, we've piled on financial stress, we've piled on childhood trauma and, you know, job crisis and, you know, other traumatic experiences that we've had in our lives. We've piled on societal pressures and self-doubt and just so much stuff and we don't really know how to handle the feelings that come with all of that stress. So that is what I hope to help us do here is to come back to who we really are by clearing that stuff and reinforcing all the good stuff. I want to leave you with one last realization I had when I was at my lowest point. When I was there in the darkness, I used to always say that I hate myself. And I realized that I didn't hate myself, but I hated all of the things that were blocking me from being who I truly am at my core. So let's take that stuff, let's take all that junk and clear it away. We don't have to block it, we don't even have to hate it, and by using these skills we will come to realize that everything is actually okay and things will get better because we have the skills and the tools to make that belief a reality. So I really hope you'll join me on this journey. I am really excited to be able to share this with you. And I know it's been long anticipated and it's finally here and I'm stoked about that. So I will see you soon, hopefully. See you later.